Technology is a crucial part of our daily lives. We check the weather on our phones, we connect with friends on social media, we find entertainment through streaming services or video games. As we find ourselves relying more and more heavily on technology, we are drawn to faster, smaller, and more efficient technology. One proposal for modern technology is to use quasi-particles called excitons in modern circuits. But before we can understand the benefits and challenges of using excitons, we need to revisit some fundamental concepts of solid-state physics. A solid material, like a crystal, can be made up of hundreds or thousands of atoms. The electrons from each of these atoms have a certain range of energies that they can occupy. When we put together the energies that all electrons in a solid can occupy, we get something called a band structure. This is an example of a band structure. It shows what energies the electrons can occupy. Additionally, it shows what energies are not accessible to the electrons, so-called band gaps. Bands that lie below the band gap are called valence bands, and bands that lie above are called conduction bands. As the name suggests, electrons in the conduction band can perform conduction throughout the material. Materials called semiconductors have a band gap. Additionally, the energy of this band gap is small enough so that some sort of external energy input, like a beam of light, can excite an electron from the valence band to the conduction band. Excitons are quasiparticles that are formed in this way. As previously mentioned, excitons are a type of quasiparticle, which is just a complex behavior in a material that can be treated as a single particle. Excitons are formed when an electron is excited from the valence band to the conduction band and leaves behind an electron hole, a positively charged quasiparticle formed by the absence of negative charge. One way of visualizing an electron hole is by imagining a slide puzzle where you have to slide around the pieces in a puzzle to arrange them into a nice picture. There are two ways of thinking about this puzzle. You can either imagine moving the slide puzzle pieces around, or you can imagine moving the hole where no puzzle piece is located. In this case, the electrons are our puzzle pieces and the hole is literally the hole. Excitons are very exciting quasiparticles both for their interesting physics, but also for their potential engineering applications, as we will see in the next video.